Hi, I'm Rochelle with Godiva's Secret Wigs, and I have Carmela with me. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Carmela's a new consultant in St. George, Utah, and so we're going to trim some Candace wigs in different lengths so you can see how easy it is to do. So I've already trimmed a little bit of bang right here, always starting lower than I think the bang should be and slowly working my way up. We have other tutorials you can see on our 400 plus uh, YouTube channel. Just look up Godiva's Secret Wigs. So now I want to show you length. And a lot of clients love canvas but they just feel that it's too long. So I'm going to show you how really easy and it's fun once you get a pair of scissors and some thinning shears. And um, I'm also going to put, let me see, do I have my chin strap? This is a chin strap. First, you always want to make sure that the wig is right at the hairline where you want it and also that the tabs on each side of the wig are perfectly even because you don't want to trim a wig that's crooked on your head. That would not be good. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just going to put the clip around Carmela's little chin and just hook it onto the little uh, ear tabs. Right. Hey, why am I not getting that? There. There we go. So now that is that comfortable? Yeah, Can you swallow? Fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now the wig's not going to go anywhere. So those are great. I'll even use it on myself if I'm trimming a wig, trimming bangs great uh, by myself. And where do you get those? We sell them. Oh, they're on the I website. Okay. So if you can see, there are cutting points, there are areas because Candace is layered. And so I love this, and here is our longer piece. Sometimes that's just too long. So just to start with, I'm just going to get rid of it. Oh. You're so <laughs> brave. <laughs> well, I've done a few of these, yeah. but, but I will even it out after that. So I just really want to nice start length. seeing, isn't yeah. that a great length? Yeah, I like that. And I could go, now you can start to see that cutting point, I could even go shorter, mm -hmm. which I will in another wig. So from here, because it's layered, a layered wig is so forgiving with the trimming. So I'm just going to start here. And I'm just going to cut my way up a little bit. Clean that up, and I'm just going to hold, I like to hold with my second and third finger, and just kind of move it away. I don't pull, but I'm again on the diagonal, just cutting up, 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 just like we showed on the bangs. So I'm looking, I want it to come around this way, and I'm using my fingers to separate the hair, and I'm just doing small cutting. So see how that starts to mm -hmm. soften up? Yes. And you see this little piece is sticking out right here. So I'm going to just go right there. So trimming wigs is more of a visual cut than a precision cut. Because, especially for Godiva's Secret Wigs, because when you trim them, after you wash them and condition them, let them drip dry, they dry back the way you bought them. And so it's not like one day it's going to look it's not like our hair. It's always going to look the way you bought it, unless you make a change like this. So I'm just looking at little pieces here. Like to me, this is too long. It's coming all the way here. I kind of want a line of the fringe, so I'm holding it and just clipping it. Always on the diagonal, however I'm holding that. So let's say I want down here to be a little bit more layered. I'm going to just cut right up into it. So if you have an old wig you can practice on, that would be terrific. So 
see well, that's yeah it is great mm -hmm. and very easy so see looking right here this looks more one length but I want to make sure so I'm going to use my brush to get the style so that I can really see the style see once I brushed it the way it wants to go I can see there's more fringing but I don't care for this fringing to be coming all the way over here. I, this is nice and clean, and I want to keep it that way on this side too. So I'm just looking, and again, kind of going on the diagonal. see that this does not roll as nice as this so I'm going to layer it out a little bit more so it's really trusting what you're seeing trusting yourself to be able to say okay this could be better this is too thick on the bottom And make those just little subtle changes. So if I'm holding it this way, this is coming out much further than this. So I'm just going to, again on the diagonal, just do a little trimming. See, so I'm starting to make sense right now. I'm also looking to match this side, so I may do a little more trimming here. So there you have, I'm wearing my canvas, it's untrimmed, and honestly this wig is over 20 years old. So it's, it's dried a little bit, it's thicker, it's a different look, but these are the same wig, and so I love this length. So, yeah, that is a really good length. Right? Yes. Okay, really good. Alright, let's go for a different look now. Want to pull your hair? There we go. And this did have a clip. <laughs> I'm gonna let you take it. Okay. Off. I don't want to pull your hair. There's a. Oh yeah. There is. On my longer wigs of my own, I really automatically sew two clips up at the top. There we go. Because that way, if anyone's hugging me or I'm shaking my oh, head, you know, yeah. a longer wig is heavier, and I don't want it sliding back when someone comes to give me a hug. That would be, not be so good. So they are actually, I even used uh, red thread to show, but there are my clips at the top of canvas. Okay. So let's have a little more fun. This is canvas in chocolate swirl, which I know you love, Carmela. Mm -hmm. These blonde highlights. Does that feel comfortable on you? Yes. Okay. Just, I'm going to check my tab. Sure. Most okay. important. And if you're going to a hairdresser, please you take responsibility to make sure that the wig is on properly at the hairline and even the tabs because, you know, you have to be responsible for your own wigs. Yeah, this color is amazing on you. So this time I'm going to leave a little, I'm gonna, just going to take this bang a little lighter. So I'm just going to do my thing. I okay. want you to see. First I like to see, okay, what is the wig showing me? What are its special features? Candace does have some of the fringing around the face. Love this height right here. So I'm going to give you a little different look this time. I'm 
just going to let you wear this at a side part, but see I just got that out of your eye. I'm going to leave that long right now, but I want to match the other side with what I just trimmed. So I wouldn't just trim this shorter and then leave that long and right. untouched. So, because the illusion is you cut your, you trimmed your own hair. All right, so just a very light little bang. So now, let's just do it. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, before you all faint, I'm, I'm doing that knowing I'm going to take the wig shorter. So I'm just getting all this extra length out of the way instead of slowly working my way up when I know I want it shorter anyway. Okay. So, but I want you to just see without doing anything but cutting that, Candace is, look. right? Yeah. It's a completely yeah. different look yeah. and quite a bit shorter. Yeah. So now I'm going to show you what I do. So now this fringing, it doesn't look real anymore because this is shorter. This is just too long. Mm -hmm. So I love this fringing. So to get the fringing to work, I get it to fall the way it wants to and then just kind of grab it and just trim it upwards. This is so pretty. I'm going to want this. <laughs> Now, I'm going to put some extra layering in here. And so what I like to do is look at the wig. I take a little piece at a time, and I'm just using my, my uh, scissor, and I am slowly going up and closing the scissor. That's the slow motion. So up and close, up and close while I'm pulling, pulling, and just... It's a quick little up and close. And I'm going to lighten it up a little bit here. I still love the fringing. For now, for now. Now let's say that this is too thick on the bottom. So I want to thin it out a little bit. So right now I'm going to stop. I'm not going to touch the top of the wig. I'm going to clippy that, the top part away. So you never thin at the very top. Right. Because you don't want the, the thinning shears, the cutting, and the little hairs to show. So what I'm going to do right here, let's brush it a little bit. Look to your left just a little bit. Yeah, I can see kind of what I'm doing. And make sure it's your thinning shears and not your regular <laughs> scissors yeah. when you do this. Yeah. So Danielle and I both do it a little differently. I like my smooth end on the bottom and I believe she puts her smooth end on the top. Doesn't matter. It's okay. whatever you like. But I just want to thin some of this hair out. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit get right up at the root and one hit and pull it out. So here's the hair that just came out. It's enough to make a little bit of a difference. So I'm going to keep going. So every time I'm pulling the hair out, like I wouldn't suggest just keep doing it and then brush the hair out. You might because end up with more than you wanted. Right. You yeah. may end up with hair too thin. Yeah. So I always take a little look, but you will not see where I'm cutting here. This hair is a little long, so I'm using a brush to pull it to pull the hair out. I'm gonna do it again, a little bit right here. And because it's hair that's under the other hair, you're not going to see any mistake. If you notice, I just even cut right there. Right. I didn't cut it the right. very top. I noticed that. And let's say that these bottoms, I want this a little thinner. I'm just going to, on the diagonal, one quick cut. With your thinning shears. With my thinning okay. shears. 
Takes away that blunt cut too. Takes yeah. away the blunt cut and just changes the whole the whole look a little bit. Makes it a little bit more layered. So I'm I'm starting to jump in here right now. <laughs> and uh, remember you have still have hair up here. Right. But my goal, like I said, was lessen the hair, thin it out down here a little bit. So no, you won't see where I cut because I'm pulling down the hair. So look straight ahead a minute. Let's see. All right, look back to your left, please. I'm going to get that long hair out of the way. So after a few, I want to take a look and see what happens here. Cute. Can you see it's airier now, mm -hmm. as opposed to right here, it's very thick. Yeah. So now I'm going to get rid of my thinning shears, back to my regular scissors, and I'll even say that to myself, okay, <laughs> I'm getting my regular scissors now, I'm getting my thinning shears now, because I have ruined a few wigs. Oh, yeah. And again, on the diagonal, which means not straight up, slightly to the left, or slightly to the right, and that's where you end up with a, not a perfect blunt cut. Even if you're cutting one length, you still don't want it. Well, you might want it that way, then cut it that way, but uh, I don't prefer it that way. I think it looks more natural when it's just oh, slightly uneven and thinner on the bottom. So you can see, I can cut straight up into it to thin it out. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so when you look to your right a little bit, just to show, this is before I trimmed. I just cut it. And now, let's see this side a little bit. Yeah, real Just pretty. airier, mm -hmm. lighter, and it didn't take very much, and it works great. Very so fun. I would, from there, come around, and then just start using my sides to help me have a cutting point how long I'm going to take this wig. And I would just match it all the way around. Let's say I wanted to have it a little more layered at the top. I can just cut it shorter and I'm going to make more of a layer with it. That cutting while you're going down like mm -hmm. that, that looks really intimidating to me. It, and it does. <laughs> but once you get it, it's, uh, yeah, it's it great. Some practice. So here is a shorter canvas. Cute. All right, just to give you an idea. So let's go for another look. Would you please put this on? Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to have a sip of water. I love Candace in Silverstone. I mean, I've yeah. worn it just like this, untouched, long, and oh my god, I get stopped by people and men, women, and they are just asking me, how long did it take you to grow your hair? Oh my gosh, your hair is in such great shape. And you they don't go on and on. see gray hair this long. Right? right. Well, and looking like this. Yes, it's wonderful. So I let them go on and on, and I say, really, really? And then um, in the middle of Macy's or where Nordstrom's, I'm like, well, you could have one too. And I look it right <laughs> off. So. That's the fun part of wearing wigs. Yes, it is. We don't have to be in fear of wearing wigs. I mean, how did you feel the first time, and how did you think you were going to feel? Do you know, it was interesting. When I, when I first got my first wig, I thought, 
oh, I don't know if I can wear this to church because if I do, then I'll be locked in and I'll have to wear it every week to church or everybody will know it was a wig. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, well, who cares if everybody knows it's a wig? Nobody expects me to wear the same dress every week, so why should I have to have my hair the same every week, right? Yes, you know? yes. So exactly. I wore a different wig every week, and it's so fun. I get Some people say something, and some people are just looking at me like, what's going on? <laughs> so I know... Carmela came to a wig party. I think you had no idea you were going to even no. like oh, wigs. No. no, she was I came to polite. support my sister. Okay, polite, uh, being thoughtful for her sister. <laughs> yeah. And so the first time you wore a wig out, was it scary? How did you feel? Did you? Um, I was I was a little self conscious, but I got a lot of compliments on her, and they thought I just had my hair cut and styled. Okay, love it. And. Love it. I tattled on myself because that's what I do. I don't ever, <laughs> you know, I don't Just tell the truth. I There's did. No, no problem. Oh, it's a wig. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be different next week. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Love it. Okay, now I'm going to give Candace a different look. Maybe a look that a woman in Silverstone would like. So again, I'm just going to not pull down. <laughs> yeah but I'm going a lot longer than I think. So did you see, it really ended up shorter. I still pulled a little bit, and it's shorter. It's, it's tricky. It's not too short, right? but it's, it's shorter. So there is definitely the client that does not want the longer bang. So I want to give you, where you're going to be that client, right? Okay, I, know. I am. I am. <laughs> Open this up a little bit. It's funny, I've been doing this long enough that almost my hands are like, don't use your mind, Rochelle, just let me do the trim, please. <laughs> yeah, that is a funny thing because you, you develop a, this muscle memory, right? And your hands right. just know what to do. And right. Your head gets in the way, it can mess you all up. <laughs> yes. So I think you're going to be able to see what I'm doing. Because right now, my head's not really thinking. I want to tell you what I'm doing, but you've already seen some of the trimming. So I'm going to start again at the cutting point where the fringe starts to curve. And this is the area where some women will think, I just don't want it that long. So bye. And you don't want to pull the hair from the back all the way into the front. So that's what I'm doing. I only want the hair that's on the side right now. And you know what? I'm going to take you shorter. Okay. I just have to. Let's just do it. Let's see what Candace will do. I used to have a client, she would buy a Candace, brand new, and have me take it up to her chin. Now, we, why did she choose this style because, to kind of cut that much Because off? there is no wig like Candace, like this. Around the face. Okay. It falls around the face. So, it was fun, and she loved it, and, you know, it can that can take a while. Uh -huh. <laughs> to trim a wig like that, but she would just close her eyes and every wig I did for her was a little bit different. And this is when I kind of just let my fingers do the walking and I'm looking at her. So I'm, as I'm going shorter, I want this part to be a little shorter too, to lighten, lighten it up, like we were Start saying. The layers. Right. The longer your hair gets, the heavier it gets on top. So for me, I'm working all the way around and just looking at what I'm doing and looking at your face, not just the hair. So this will be a, a glamorous look at this length. Look how it's sitting yeah. up already. Yeah. You know, Candace is machine teased. You know how I love my height, <laughs> but it can go low. So there you go too. 
So I'm going to just cut upwards right now. And I can even, if I want to thin it, I can just go right in the middle of the hair. You are so fearless. I love this. Well, it's fun. And again, on a, on a wig that's not a blunt, flat cut, uh -huh. you can do so much. Yeah. So I'm making this thinner, not by thinning it, by cutting right into it. So in slow motion, I'm just going up, upwards. See how that's getting airier right there? I love this flip back. Yeah. Really fun. This is the sexy part right here. So I don't want to do much to that. Right. That is the beauty yeah. of Candace. Can you really this is a Candace so right pretty. now? Yeah. So pretty. So I'm just again cutting into that. So look how PC it looks mm -hmm. when I'm cutting into the wig. I love it. And you can just cut, keep, just go back and forth, cut back and forth. To me, this is too long sticking out, so I'm just going to, on the diagonal, cut it a little bit shorter. I don't want this is looking too thick, so I'm just going to cut right up into it. And so I'm just going back and forth, making sure the points aren't looking thick. I want them to look thinner. And I am going to take a shorter two. So I'm going to turn a little bit right here. So <laughs> we still, all right, we still wow. have all of this. <laughs> yeah. But work in one area and work where, so you get where you like it and then make the rest match. So what a change. Yes. So let's just say I'm going to cut this again longer than I want it to end up. Okay. And I could even go shorter in the front and going down to the back. So just want to show you with a wig that isn't really um, too layered. You can see Candace is kind of smooth. So if I even make it shorter, you're not going to see too much of it, but you'll see some little points that stand out. You know, on a curly wig, you will see all these points clearly. So I just, you know, use my little, my hands. So it looks like the main thing is to make sure you don't get any blunt cuts and then you can make it blend however. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Good point. So you can see how that's already looking more layered. pieces. Still going to go shorter. So yeah, you can go the same length all the way around or you can go longer in the back. You could go longer in the front. So just to see a side profile, get some of this out of the way. So 
So these pieces that, like that, looks like a hard cut. So that's where I'm just going in and thinning it. Make it look piecier. And then I'm looking up here. Okay, this is laying right. Does all this hair make sense with it? Well, I might take these just a little bit shorter. Yeah. Whoops. There you go. Let me just get over here a little bit. And I could use our hot roller brush if I wanted to round out uh, the bangs or anything else. Now, if you do that, do you need to do that frequently or is it a one time and then no, we'll hold it? it's pretty much a one time. And then after you wash it, you need It'll to brush it again? Mm -hmm. Typically, it will go right back. It just depends how much time you spent on it. Um, so once normally, once like sometimes if I'll trim a bang, it will stick up a little bit. So I'll use the hot roller brush to round it out and uh, it stays. That's it. Even after you wash it, yes. it'll go back to where you set it with the heat. Yep, 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 yep. So I just want to show you right here. I could take this right around. And use my hot roller brush. So it sounds like you just have it on the low setting. You don't because it has to hold on. It's not going to hurt it. I've got one setting on mine. Oh, okay. But look how on this side, I just turned canvas mm -hmm. into a page boy. So oh, yeah. two different looks, two different canvases. Mm -hmm. So just to show you, it can be trimmed many different ways. There we go. And isn't that great? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I want to show you if I wanted to round this out. Which I don't really, but let's see. <laughs> let's see if Candace wants to go this way. I can tone her down. down. So this hair I would trim a little bit shorter because it's okay. just sticking out with the mm -hmm. color. I can round all this hair a little bit. You have to be careful with the brush to not hold it in one place too long. Um, this one is safe. <laughs> okay. But uh, we just say no heat. This is the only heat we would suggest. Okay. So let's see what we've got here. Yes. So just to give you an idea, so we've got three lengths of canvas, and Super I would fun. really love your thoughts on it. And um, mainly, I just want you to get over the fear, get over the fear <laughs> of trimming wigs, or again, your hairdresser can easily change. You know, our wigs are great the way they are, but feel free to customize it to make the bangs or the length or the thickness thinner. Whatever makes you comfortable in your wig, that's the best thing to do. Okay? Perfect. Thank you for being Thank my you. model. Good. And thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.